Jesus died on that cross to save you today. He died on that cross to give you a future, to give you hope, to give you a purpose, to give you a plan. That's why He died on the cross. That's why He gave His life. That's why He shed His blood. He shed His blood to save you today. Behold! Behold! The Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Not behold wacky backy. Not behold drugs. Not behold sex. You don't need to buy lottery tickets. You don't need to fiddle the gas. You don't need to fiddle the electric bill. You don't need to fiddle the gas bill, the electric bill, or fiddle the tax man, or sleep around. You don't need to sleep around. You don't need to sleep around. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Don't sleep around. Don't commit adultery. Don't lie. Don't steal. But remember that Christ died on a cross for you. Christ gave His life for you. Christ shed His blood for you. Christ gave His all for you on that cross. Do you want some evidence, sir? My friend wants hard evidence. In the Quran, does it say Jesus was crucified or not? In the Quran, it says He was not crucified. It says it seemed as if someone died. But it was not Jesus. Now, Josephus, a Jewish historian who lived in the area of Jesus, said he died. He said he died under Pontius Pilate. There is evidence, you see. More evidence. Tacitus, Roman historian, said he died under Pontius Pilate. He died under Pontius Pilate. He shed his blood under Pontius Pilate. Tacitus, a Jewish historian, Roman historian. These are people who testified that Jesus died on a cross. He gave his life that you may live. He gave his life that you may have salvation today. That's why he died on that cross. There is loads of evidence. Let me ask you something. Is all that we know in the universe material, sir? I'm, I'm asking you, is all that we know in the universe material? Is all that we know in the universe material? He's not willing to answer the question. He's not willing to answer the question. You've got to answer the question. I'm going to give you the evidence, but you've got to answer the question, yeah? Is all that we know in the universe material or immaterial? We're having debates there within Nelson. Are you alright? Let me tell you something. Charles Darwin is dead. Mohammed is dead. Buddha is dead. But Jesus died and rose again. Mohammed is dead. Buddha is dead. Charles Darwin is dead, but Jesus died and rose again. Jesus died and rose again. He died and rose again. He died and rose again. Muhammad is dead. Buddha is dead. Charles Darwin is dead. Jesus died and rose again. Is Muhammad dead? Is he dead? He's dead. Is Buddha dead? Do you know, sir, we went to mosque last week. We debated four imams. We are well respected in Manchester. We're Muslims. Yeah, are you a Muslim? Because all the Muslims we may respect us, yeah? <laughs> Christ died on that cross to save us. Jesus died on that cross to save us. We can give the evidence, you've got to be open to it, sir. Jesus rose again. We've given you eyewitness material, but you've got to be willing to have that witness, that material. Jesus Christ died on that cross. Buddha is dead. 
Mohammed is dead. Charles Darwin is dead. Jesus died and rose again. He conquered death. He is the one that can save you. He is the one that can take the wrath that you deserved. He's the one that took the punishment for you. He's the one that took the wrath that you deserved. He's the one that died in your place. Jesus died for you. He died. He died on that cross. He died on that cross to save you. He died on that cross to save you. He shed his blood on that cross. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Don't sleep around. No sex before marriage. No sex before marriage. No sex before marriage. Don't, don't fiddle the electric bill or the gas bill. Don't fiddle the electric bill or the gas bill. It says thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not steal, sir. Don't steal from the gas man, the electric man, or the tax man, yeah? Jesus Christ died on that cross to save you today. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus. Behold Him. The Savior, the Lamb of God who died. He gave His life for you today. He shed His blood for you today. He gave His all for you today. He died on the cross for you today. He shed His blood for you today. He gave His life for you today. That's what He did. He died on the cross. We'll be shining on tomorrow. He died on the cross to save you today. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus says that he is the bread of life. He is the bread of life that can save you. He is the bread of life that can give you hope and a future. Buddha is dead. Charles Darwin is dead. Muhammad is dead. Buddha is dead. Jesus died and rose again. Jesus died and rose again. Jesus, Jesus died and rose again. He died and rose again. We have freedom in our country to preach the gospel and we will preach it in our towns and villages and nobody, nobody will stop us because it's our right people died in the Second World War so that I and him and him could have the freedom to have free speech. We have free speech in this country so get used to it. Christ died on that cross. He shed his blood on that cross. He gave his life for you on that cross. He shed his blood for you on that cross. He gave his life. Muhammad is dead. Buddha is dead. Charles Darwin is dead. Jesus died and rose again. He died and rose again. He died and rose again. And if you turn to him today, you can be saved. You can be born again. You can have life and hope and a future today. You can have purpose today, a plan today. You can know his love today. You can know his grace today. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. He didn't say, I am wacky backy. He didn't say, I am wacky backy. He didn't say, I crack cocaine. I'm born. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Is Wacky Bucky better than Jesus? Yes. Is Wacky Bucky better than Jesus? Yes. No. Jesus gives you life. Wacky Bucky frazzles your brain. Wacky Bucky frazzles your brain. Sir, sir. Sort of 634, sir. Point to him there. Surah 634, sir. Surah 634, sir. What does it say? Surah 634, sir. Tell us what's in the Quran. Surah 634. Don't you know your Quran? I know my Quran. What does your Quran say? God, I want to hear it off you. Surah 634. Tell us what the Quran says. 
I'll tell you what it says in Surah 634. It says, my word does not change. So why do you say the Bible's changed when your own Quran says the word of God cannot change? No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Answer the question. Answer the question. Answer the question. Answer the question. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You don't get out of it. God bless you. Sorry. Don't be shouting shit like that. We're a lot more than than you. Sorry, sorry. It, we're not. It, we're not being offensive. No, no. We just cut it out. No, we, we have freedom to preach. No, we have preach. No, we have to preach. No, we have the right to preach. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. We quote. People might find it offensive. I'm just saying. No, no. There's nothing offensive. There's nothing offensive. No, there's nothing offensive. We go to mosque and talk. We we have great relationship with Muslims. Surah 634, what is it? What is it? See?